Uh, my name is Rick. I'm the manager of Highway 14 Firearms, and we are at uh, 1202 North Main Street, Viroqua. Those of you who are watching this, most of you probably know who I am. Been into the store. If not, come in and see me. Say hi. Come and say hi to Roxanne, who's the owner, and Amanda, who is usually sitting to my left, and she's also my wife, and she works here with me. We've had people coming in from Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri, Illinois. We've had people from Arizona, from Colorado, from the East Coast. I got started here at Highway 14 about six years ago. I walked in the door, I talked to Roxanne just as a meet and greet, just to say hi. Had no intention of ever working here. I was in the construction field for 30 years and Roxanne asked me a couple of questions about some firearms that she had sitting around that she knew nothing about. At the time she didn't know the difference between a revolver and a pistol. She didn't know the difference between a rifle and a shotgun. And she asked me a couple of questions. I answered them just thinking I was just talking to somebody out of the blue, just saying hi because I'm usually pretty chatty with people. And she said, you want a job? And being that I was at a crossroads in my life with the construction field and the carpentry field and wanting to get something different under my belt, I said yes. We took the gun shop from a little small room to a room in the back where it was about four times the size of what it was originally. I did a lot of repair work and a lot of gun cleaning and just basically was on my own at that start, but I worked alongside of her and worked the floor and helped customers, mounted scopes, did whatever I could do to make people's lives easier when they came in looking for a firearm. And we expanded the gun room forward, made it a little bit bigger than the first one. And that stayed that way for a couple of years and we almost immediately outgrew that because business was starting to pick up. People started to know we were here. We decided to wander over here one day. This was a big, long, empty space between what was, is the antique store now and what is Tractor Supply. And it was just this huge monster empty room. And she walked me in here and asked me if there was anything we could do with this. Initially, we started by dealing with the owner of the building and struck a deal with him to expand the antique store and bring the antique store over here with the idea that we may end up moving the gun shop over here at one time. Uh, we ended up expanding. This space was originally filled with antiques and that lasted about a year. And she said, I want to make this into a gun shop. She was driven. She's always been driven. Any, any profit that we make in this store goes right back into the business. It always has been that way. She, she's driven to get this business on the map, which I think we've done. What we ended up doing then is we took this space and we completely emptied this room out and I literally built all of what you see here and all of this was built on site by me. What you see behind me, this whole space here, was all built in sections at my shop and it was brought here strapped to the top of a Subaru and assembled it in here. So it, it made quite a Quite a splash. People like to come in here and see the color or see something a little different than your average gun shop. And then we ended up just everything, we just kept expanding, you know, we just kept growing. Firearms we buy, we sell, we trade. We order special for people. Sometimes people come in and of course there's, there's no way you're gonna have every gun in the shop. Even though we're rather large, you can't have everything that people want. This is not possible. 
So we go to the ends of the earth and back trying to find things for people that are special because not everybody is status quo. They want something a little unusual. Since we started, we've become a platinum dealer for browning, which basically means we can get our hands on a lot of the firearms that browning produces that most other places cannot get. So if it's available, we can get it and get our hands on it. We carry a wide range from um, shotguns to rifles to deer rifles, 22s, which are very, very popular. We have people coming in from all walks of life and all political sides, doesn't matter. This is this, we don't, we don't follow any, any one particular line. So we have people that are non-hunters that love to shoot. And they come in here looking for a 22 target rifle or uh, that's one of the more popular things that we see, people who like to trap shoot. So we carry a wide range of trap guns, also from Browning, um, and a wide range of different target rifles. So there are a lot of people, like I said, that are, that are not hunters. They just love to come in and they love to, they love to target shoot. That's, that's their passion. So trying to dispel that myth that if you own a gun, then you're obviously into hunting and killing and that's not the case. I see that and I, that's one of the things that I've learned since I started working here. I do a lot of uh, uh, target shooting. My wife and I are both real avid at that. The target market runs from 12 years old, um, all the way up to older gentlemen that come in, to women who are just getting started in the firearm industry, they're just getting immersed in it. They come in, they're rather tentative about coming in here because they don't know what to expect. We try to welcome people with uh, open arms that are new to the firearm industry. And this, again, dispelling the myth that um, the stereotype that you see. Unfortunately, the media likes the stereotype, and we, we don't play by those rules. I'd like to see people coming in from all walks of life, and just because you like to shoot doesn't mean you're gonna kill something. That's not, that's not true at all. We have a gentleman that does teach concealed carry classes and he is, works out of the Viola Sportsman's Club. I do sell memberships here and I do have information here for him. We do have phone numbers that we can give out to people that they can contact the Viola Sportsman's Club and talk with them about getting on the list for concealed carry classes. He offers classes for just women. He offers individual classes if people feel funny about being in a group. They want to be able to sit down with him on their own and be taught. Some people just feel more comfortable with that, especially somebody who's new. He's a, he's a wonderful man. He really is a nice guy. We really enjoy working with him. When purchasing a firearm from us, there is an extensive background check that has to be done. And what that entails is there are two forms to fill out for a handgun, one form to fill out for a long gun. Usually takes about 10 minutes to fill the form out. As an average in the state of Wisconsin, there's about 700 background checks a day. And right now they're running about 700 background checks an hour. So there's that many people purchasing firearms. So it does take a while. So people have to be patient when they come in. Normally we can get people in and out of here um, 20 minutes max. People can come in and pick up a gun, do the paperwork, and they're gone. But right now, because of the, the times that we're in, it takes longer. What we have to do in this business is each state has separate rules on whether or not you can purchase a firearm. A, it's up to the individual who's coming from out of state to know what those rules are. But we check prior to them leaving. As far as long guns are concerned, there are some states that you can't buy, like an AR-style rifle. And 
or there are some states that has to be shipped to an FFL in their state. So we have to be on top of all of those rules. A handgun has to be shipped, period. If you come in from Minnesota and you want to purchase a handgun, that's fine, we'll take care of it. But the firearm has to be boxed up and shipped to an FFL dealer in your community. And then when you get back, you do the paperwork that abides by the laws set forth by that state. So we encourage people to come in from out of state and buy from us because we are an FFL dealer. We are also an online dealer. We work with Gun Broker and Guns America and we ship all over the United States, but we do ship to FFL dealers. So you just don't come wandering in here and buy a gun and walk out. There has to be rules set that we have set forth by the federal government and by state to state. Like older firearms and somebody sees a rifle that on gun broker that they've always wanted and they buy it, we have guns sent here to us. So it costs $30 for a long gun to have it transferred to us and $40 for a handgun. So we ship, we have guns shipped here all the time and guys will just come in and do the paperwork, uh, fill out the paperwork and have it transferred to them. So we work with them all the time. We are also a gun broker dealer, so we, we work with estates. So if somebody has a large estate, somebody in the family passes away and they got a bunch of guns they don't know what to do with, you come and see us. A, you bring the guns into us and we evaluate them and give them a value. We can either purchase them outright or we go through gun broker. Right now we're dealing with an estate that has over a thousand guns and they're getting brought to us a small batch at a time. And we either sell them through the gun store to our customers or we go on gun broker and we sell them to them via gun broker and that means we got a nationwide audience so when a gun goes on gun broker you got people coast to coast spitting on it so we got quite a reputation of having some really unusual firearms so we do estates it's hard to pinpoint what would be the number one seller that is based on our demographic and there are a lot of people that like I mean shotguns trap guns are, are, are a good seller but it's hard to pinpoint one particular thing concealed carry firearms are really popular right now and Smith & Wesson has an offering called the easy slide and that is both run in a 380 caliber and a 9 millimeter um, Women are the largest growing demographic in the firearm industry right now, so a lot of these manufacturers are stepping up and developing firearms that are easier for people to use, particularly women, for the mechanical part of it. They're making them easier to handle and easier to work the controls. So those have been very popular, and we have older couples that are coming in here looking for firearms for both and they really, they really like that particular firearm because of that. Um, that's probably our best seller in handguns for concealed carry. Uh, the Target pistols are real popular. That's made by both Browning and Ruger. Ruger has the Mark IV Target. That's been very popular. Browning has a Buck Mark, which is a Target pistol. That's real popular. Uh, as far as 22s are concerned, the Ruger 1022 is our best seller because they, they have such a wide range of availability. Um, we have target rifles that are very expensive, that are designed for target competition that can be well over $1,000 for those who are interested in that. And right on down to that economy level because of that particular rifle, the Ruger 1022 is so diverse. There are, there are literally catalogs that are dedicated just to parts for that particular gun. So you can just change pretty much everything on it. Same thing with the pistols, they're the same way, the Ruger Mark series pistols, the Mark IV. Uh, you can change so much on those things, it's not funny. We do carry certain supplies. We have scopes. We, we carry a brand called Conus, 
and it's, it's made overseas, but it carries a full lifetime warranty. And what we offer is above what the other companies are offering in that they, if an individual has an, experiences a problem with their scope, they can turn around and bring it back to me. I will take the bad scope off. If I have the scope that they purchased in stock, I'll put a new scope on for them. I'll bore sight it, send them on their way. And I take care of the bad scope. I send it back to Conus and have it replaced. And they're on their way. They don't have to fumble around trying to put it in the, a box and figure out where it's supposed to go and mail it and run to the post office. I mean, for us, we do this all the time. We're always shipping stuff and moving stuff back and forth. You know, we got boxes coming in here every single day and going out every single day. So it's nothing for us. You know, we take care of all of that. Uh, we have scope rings for just about every rifle we carry in the store. We carry slings, we carry accessories, we carry ammunition. We have try to have as much ammo or more than most gun shops, even the big box stores, so we have more ammo. We want everybody to be happy. We want to make sure that they get exactly what they're looking for. And I'm not out to sell, you know, this gun today because the boss says we have to sell this gun today. I'm not, I'm not selling cars here. I want somebody to buy a, what I call grandpa guns. And a grandpa gun is that gun when the 25 year old young man comes in here or young woman and they buy that gun. 50 years from now, they're gonna be handing that off to their grandchild. That's called a grandpa gun. We as adults all have stories that revolve around a particular firearm that we were around when we were kids. And we think how cool that was as part of the gun culture. The gun culture doesn't revolve around killing. It revolves around good times. It revolves around chili. It revolves around drinking beer and, and listening to stories from your grandparents and, and your dad and your mom and stuff that happened when you were growing up. That's gun culture. That's what that's all about. And that's what we try to do here in this store. We try to keep that family nucleus alive in the gun industry. That's what we are all about. Uh, we have people coming in here with their kids looking for their first 22 or their first turkey gun or their first deer rifle. And that's pretty exciting to be a part of that family. It's, it's fun to be there when that little person is getting their first gun. Yeah, that's what memories are made of. So that's what we try to do. This is what's called the American Farmer. This is the second edition. Again, the 401G. We have people that come in here and purchase these guns without ever intending to shoot them, ever. They're being hung on the wall and they grow in value. This one was introduced with just a plain Jane box, but they put the money into the wood. They have a brand new person that did the design for it. This is from the Depression. It's got a Depression era picture engraved into it. And the cool thing about that is it's in French walnut. So instead of doing a laminated stock, they did it in French walnut. It's in stainless steel. They just did a beautiful job on the engraving. And these are, these are very desirable. And again, there's only a limited number of these being made. So if there are people out there that want to collect these, which there are, they, they just they love them. They just love them. They, they wait. They're on a waiting list. As soon as we get something cool coming in from Ruger, uh, a new laser engraved, a new limited edition one, they're in here. They want it. And they do the Animal Series, which is this one. This is a dragon. This is the new offering from Ruger for this year. It actually has a dragon engraved in the stock. Got this beautiful crimson red stock. Um, Again, people are loving these things in a limited edition. 
This is commemorating D-Day. And again, that's for that, what I call the 401G, because there's a, just a limited a, a number of those being manufactured. This was a special offering. There's a real interesting story behind this one. This is a limited edition commemorating the 2020 Olympics in Japan. So Ruger came out with this gun with the red, white, and blue stock. This is a takedown. So it, it just breaks down and fits in this bag. These are, again, limited to 2020. They're only making 2,020 of these. This is worldwide. That's it. With COVID-19, they canceled the Olympics. Now what I'm hearing coming down the pipe from Ruger is there's probably going to be only a little over a thousand of these being made. They doesn't seem like much right now, but if you are an avid Ruger collector, this would be one that you would want in your collection as soon as possible. We only have two of these left in the store and they're really difficult to get, if at all. What happens with Ruger is they'll make about a thousand of these, they'll introduce them, they'll get them out in the market, and then they'll wait. And then later on in the fall, they'll crank out another, bringing it up to the 2020. These run for $5.99 plus tax. And what we've been hearing is they are not making the second run because the Olympics have been canceled. It doesn't seem like a lot right now, but you take it five years down the road, you're going to be saying to yourself, why didn't I get one of those? Because these are probably going to be one of the more rare ones out there, considering how the offering just dropped off with the COVID is going to be attached to that. 2020 is going on the record books as being just one crazy year. There's only 250 of these made. Every year Ruger will come out with something and they'll do something very unusual. And like I said, Roxanne is very tenacious and she finds these things. So if there are people out there that are collectors and there are a lot of collectors out there, we have, we have men and women that come in here and buy guns that they never intend to shoot them, ever. If you like to collect firearms, these things are, are very, very collectible and they're rare. So with only 250 being distributed throughout the United States, that says a lot. So that's one of the things, one of the phrases that I coined in the store is the 401G. We also have the Wife Friendly Layaway Program. We've got a lot of, a lot of young men and young women that come in here and they like to buy a gun. The, the gentleman is looking for a deer rifle. He's looking for something special. And I came up with the Wife Friendly Layaway Program. And that all kind of started out when my wife started working here with me. And it was, it was kind of one-sided. It was mainly dedicated to myself because when I started working here, she suddenly knew how many guns I bought and what kind of things followed me home because she, the paperwork went across her desk. So she was like, I had to come up with a plan and come up with one quick. So I came up with the Wife Friendly Layaway Program. And basically what that is, is 20% down and we go 30 to 90 days depending on what you buy. So typically women are the overseers of the finances and guys just see a gun, want gun, buy gun. And women are like getting mad and saying, no, you can't do that. But if we like working with people, we like working with couples and seeing to it that they can get what they're looking for and make it as reasonable as possible.
This has actually been manufactured in 1882. So one of our favorite things we like to say around here is if this could talk from 1882. Where has this been? It's got nicks, it's got dings, it's got scratches. And it looks like it was carried in a scabbard on the side of a, on a, by horseback. Um, pretty sure this is what's called a 4570. And probably one of the oldest guns we have in the store right now. And you would compare that to this firearm, which is brand new. This is an offering from Marlin, and this is a special offering that they have come up with in curly maple. You, not many people see these because they don't make that many of them. So compared to this one, you can see the difference, the size, the finish. This one is more of a modern version of the one on the lower. Um, these are very popular because of their weight. Also, <clears throat> this is a good grandpa gun, which I talked about earlier. This is something that somebody could purchase and chances are a gun like this will spend a great deal of its time in a, a safe or hanging on a wall, affectionately known as a safe queen. So it won't go out much and get much air. It'll be something that people will cherish. A lot of people that collect like the Henry's, which we are a Henry dealer as well. And this is a Henry. Henry is absolutely amazing company. They've got one of the best customer service places in the business. If you have a problem with this, you can even email the, the owner of the company and he will absolutely get right back to you. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is working with companies that are top shelf. Customer service is very important to us here. One of the firearms that gets a lot of press is the AR-15. And one of the first things, let's say one of the first myths I'd like to dispel is what the AR-15 is. There are people who think that AR stands for assault rifle. AR does not stand for assault rifle. AR stands for Armalite Rifle Model 15. Armalite was the developer of the rifle back in the 60s, and that's where AR-15 came from. It does not mean assault rifle. It's Armalite Rifle Number 15. This is a AR-15. That's what they look like. This is your bare bones. This is what they are all about. So what makes them so versatile is A, the collapsible stock. So that will fit just, even if you're a small shooter, you know, a child, somebody 11, 12 years old, if you want to get them started on shooting, you can adjust that. Um, depending on what you're wearing for clothing, it can be adjustable or what your length of pull is. It's, it's more designed to be compact carried, you know, where it's, you can tuck it in and bring it close to your body when you're carrying it. This thing just covers a wide range. It comes in a wide range of calibers, uh, which makes it so versatile. The market is very hot on these right now. This particular one is a pistol. And you can tell this is a pistol, A, because it's got a really short barrel and it doesn't have a buttstock on it. It's got what they call a buffer tube. And this is a AR pistol and it's more designed to be carried on a single point sling which fastens right into here and again that's carried right close to the body and it's meant to be shot at arm's length that's what that is for this particular one is what's called an ar-10 this is a 308 caliber and this is more designed for hunting so this particular rifle has become very popular with hunters because of its versatility. Uh, it's, it's compact size, it's lightweight. These are really nice for deer rifles and they'll fit just about any, any demographic. Um, 
This particular one has a laminated stock. This is made by Wyndham Weaponry. This is a little bit higher on the food chain as far as price is concerned. This particular rifle is gonna run about $2,000 out the door. So this has a Kona scope on it. Again, lifetime warranty, lifetime warranty on the rifle. Um, these are outstanding. We do pride ourselves in actually having them in stock in the store. One of the services that I offer here is gun cleaning. I do have an ultrasonic cleaner that I put firearms in. I take them all apart, stuff that's really dirty and needs help. But as far as repair work is concerned, if it's minor, I can take it on. But if it's something major, I can't do it. We do have people on the outside that I can pick up a phone and call if something needs to be like a new barrel threaded on or a bolt repaired or um, anything that requires machining work, drilling, tapping, anything like that. We do have people at our fingertips that we can get a hold of. Uh, we also offer custom Sarah coating. You take a rifle like this one. This is a Ruger Precision and this is in U.S. Marine Corps Red. This is an offering from Ruger. So this is a custom Cerakote finish. There is a, a gentleman that I work with. His name is Josh. He's from Fully Coated Firearm Finishes. And he can do a finish like this or anything that you want. He has done camouflage. He's done a, a thing called Cryptek. Um, he even took an AR-15 rifle for me, very similar to this one, and he did it in black and red and covered it with spiders. One of those things that I would do with him is just take the gun, hand it to him, and he says, what do you want? And I say, surprise me. And his eyes light up like a kid on Christmas morning because he, he's got something in his mind instantly, and you just walk away and leave him alone. If you're not strict about what you want, you just hand it to him and let him know. Surprise me, and he will. He'll come up with something off the chain that's just crazy. So you can come in and contact me if you would like to work with him. He's extremely busy, he also has a full-time job, and two kids, which is another full-time job. So he, I'm the go-between for him. So he likes me to be the one contacting him with new work. So you just come in and see me and I can set you up. Uh, we also carry a wide range of safes from various sizes and price ranges. We offer free delivery within a certain distance and or we take money off the price of the safe if people want to have it. If they have the tools and the, the machinery to move it themselves, we knock money off the price of the safe. So we have a, a company that moves for us that are, they're amazing. These guys really come in and they take things under control and they're just, the safe is up on dollies and gone, just like magic. So that's something that people can take comfort in knowing that they could come in here and buy one of these safes and I think it's up to 30 miles. It's free delivery. Anything after that, then there's a small charge for mileage. But it's, it's minor compared to actually having the safe put in your place where it needs to be by professionals. Some of these safes are, are relatively reasonable in price and some of them get to be pretty expensive, but it just depends on what you're getting. Um, these are more manageable. These are more like what you would consider a closet safe. This would be something that you could put into a, an alcove or a, a coat closet because it'll fit through a standard size door. And if you have the right people moving it for you, they'll put it anywhere you want. This is actually brand new from Browning this year. And these safes are designed for scoped rifles that will fit on the door. They have, an out, they have a little cutout on the door for the scopes to set in. Your favorite rifles can be on the door so you can get to them right away. Shotguns, rifles, whatever, place for handguns. And again, this is a 33 gun, and it will hold a true 33 gun. 
There is an outlet in the back that's set up for a dehumidifier. It's also set up for lights. Um, so you can have the safe lit up. These are really, really nice safes. They're high end. So they're, for the money, they're, they're a great buy. This one weighs 715 pounds. These are running around $3,000. So you definitely get what you pay for. And this again is free delivery for up to 30 miles. And if you wanna move it yourself, take $400 off. So if you have a skid steer and a trailer and you have the ability to pick this thing up and take it out the door and strap it to a trailer, then you're gonna save 400 bucks. Then you go into the bigger safes. You can get safes over here. Some of these are much larger, something like this. This is a 65 gun safe. This will hold just about everything you own. For most guys, that's, that's a huge safe. That's something you can grow into. This particular one weighs 1,055 pounds. This is just shy of $3,500. But these are outstanding safes for the money. Again, you got the pockets in the door. You got places for handguns. It's wired for a dehumidifier. It's wired for lights. Um, these have a lifetime warranty on them. Browning safes are outstanding. It's cedar lined, it's lit, it's got drawers in it, it's got spots for handguns. These are for somebody with an office or they want to put it in a den because the finish is like an auto grade finish on it. Um, these safes are running just shy of $7,000. So this is their, this is one of their flagship safes. These things are outstanding. So it's also biometric, which means it'll set up to your fingerprint. You can program this thing into your fingerprint so you don't have to hit the code every time. You just walk up to it, put your finger on there, it'll read your fingerprint and the door will open. Not just you, but it'll be other members of the family that you want to be able to get in it at a, at a moment's notice. It'll also tattle. If some kid tries to get in it and keeps trying, it'll tattle. It'll tell you when somebody was trying to get in the safe. And the other ones are just variations from price ranges. Um, so we do try to cover everything to meet people's needs. But these are incredible safes. They're, they're so well made. The pawn shop is relatively small. When we decided that we were going to open up this business and get going as a gun shop, we also became a, a pawn shop to try to just add another facet to the business. So when we made that decision, we're actually licensed, a licensed lending institution. So we're capable of pawning larger things and for cash and we also buy silver and gold and jewelry. So, and we also pawn all of that. So when we became a lending institution, then that made us a little bit more broad based. Um, although we don't see a lot of traffic with the pawn, we see, we see enough. So we're gonna look at what the, what gold is going for today, what silver is going for today, and it's usually half a half. However the market is, you know, if you start seeing, you watch the stock market, which is all over the place these days, and you're going to see gold and silver, which, you know, the stock market will, will spike, whereas gold and silver kind of rolls. So again, any whatever given day you're bringing this stuff in, that's how we base it when we're going to do a pawn or if we buy it outright. And when we have an individual coming in with a, a pawn, we usually send them back to her and then she does the research. If it's their pawning firearms, which we get that a lot, then I'm involved in that. And it's not, you're not getting face value of the firearm, you're getting half of half, depending on what it is. People 
you'll have to keep that in mind too. It's just a loan. It's just people sometimes need a little help to get by and we try to work with them on that. If you're gonna get in your car and you're gonna drive an hour or two hours away to go to a gun shop, before you leave town, poke your head in the door and come and see if we got it or if we can get it. I can't tell you how many times I've had people walk in the door and say you actually have ammunition, you actually have a, a magazine for a, a Remington 742. Nobody has those and you guys have them. I've been trying to find one for months. Or you've got 6.5 Creedmoor, or have you got 6 millimeter ammo, do you have any 357? Sure we do. Come in, at least come in and say hi and introduce yourself, tell us where you're from. And if you're from Vernon County, give us a shot, no pun intended, come and see us. And we have it here. Chances are we have it here. For a small community, it has a lot to offer. That's one of the things that I was drawn to when I started working here. If you, if you want something, it's, chances are you're gonna find it. It's very important to us that people walk out of here and they feel like they've had their needs met and their questions answered. Our hours are from Wednesday through Sunday and they are 10 to five. Sunday is 11 to five. And we are here five days a week. We are closed Mondays and Tuesdays. 608, 638, 3500. We are also on Facebook. You can find us there.